Hello, already, and what this is Solid Snake. Welcome you to another episode of Let's Play Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Last time we beat Running Man. <laughs> yeah. Last time we beat the Running Man, and, uh, yeah. I went across the swamp. And we also had to use one of our rations, sadly, and also got the car 3. It's an IC car for the type used in Zanzibar Island. Okay. So, first, so let's, uh, use those new, that new card. Also, we, uh, met with Dr. Madnar. Fight who you have to fight. Kill who you have to kill. Those are the rules of the battlefield. In a shooting game. Over and out. Okay, I guess Mr. Uh, Campbell who, what, uh, didn't really have a character yet, and we was just fourth wall breaking of the character. Anyways, head into the next room with, with your key card, and you'll find two children. A girl and a boy. I know it's the letters! It's a Sega missile! They took some to the factory on the west side of the Zanzibar building, first floor the other day! So they're gonna put them on some tanks. Hmm. Neat. I hate people who use guns. Okay, screw you then. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> hey. So, at the Zanzibar building. Huh. Looks like we have a waste place to go. So we have to head back to the Zanzibar building again. Zanzibar. Colonel. Hmm. Okay, I'm sinking into the sink into the swamp. It appears I'm sinking into the swamp. Ugh. What is this stuff? Ugh. Ha ha ha. Darn. You think uh, Snake screams liquid's name every time he goes into a shower? I'm also joking. I'm. Bloop. My lord. Where's the map? I see. Sploosh. There we are. I made it across the swamp, Colonel. This land. It's very... I'm just going to say, Snake needs a major shower after he gets back. I smell like a bog. Ugh. <laughs> All right, and back into the building. Go up the stairs to the left, and uh, head to that southern door with key card three. You know the drill, right? Open the door. Oh frick! Cameras. Another crawling doesn't accept. Up. Right side? Ah, oh, frickin' it! Darn! Am I? Pistol. My pistol, I'm a totally actual, actual pistol. That's totally not a, uh, a rifle in disguise. Run, run, run! Ah! Let me in. Let me in, let me in. And there's the singer missile. So now we head back to the jungle again. <laughs> Remember, we just we just took the missiles that were that we, that we couldn't win. Why did I do that? Why did I purposely activate the the guy? <laughs> I'm an idiot. 
My name is Salt Snake, and I have the IQ of a literal snail. Also, by the way, my time is going to be skewed because I actually left the game open while I was fixing some uh, some video titles. Like way back when I did Drag Quest 4. I realized I had the wrong, I wasn't using Roman numerals and instead was using just a four. I need okay. So we need to head north into the into the northern desert because now that we have the Stinger missile. Actually, no. Now, man, head in this room. It exits at the southeast side. What? I... Okay. He's not here! Don't look in here, I swear. There we are. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So. Alright. Exit this area. So now we head. Head across this area. Oh, okay. Okay. Is for ID card three is needed? Yes. And we get ID the red card. You now can open any card that one and, th and three could not o could open without switching between them. Yep. Because now we have a master card. <laughs> I know you return to the jungle. And this area is locked. Alright. So basically now we have a baby super card. Huh, there's a lot of corpses around here. I mean, we did spot solid snake, but I didn't, didn't even explore in the base. But yeah, we should probably investigate these corpses and try and look harder for solid snake instead of just wandering the set path. And why? Well, and let's not. Also, I edited the settings so they look a little bit better with the CRT Royal, the pre with pre blur, which basically fixes the uh, how to explain pre blur. Pre blur basically is a uh, a setting which uh, makes it to emulate a composite cable without ever like actually doing it. It's basically like this two with a hundred, two hundred. The setting I've heard is the best, according to us online. Anyways, head up. We have, a, we have a boss fight. Forgot about the, the mines. Oh, we stock our mines, why not? Because we need them. I'm noticing that we rank up from killing bosses now, which I think is a much better system, honestly. We do need to replenish on our rations, so... Let's go, there should be a ration up here, if I remember right. Right. Maybe you don't step on mines, me. Again, no collecting of a billion rations this time. Okay. This is some missile, some ammo. Can't carry any more. What was that noise? What was that noise? It's nothing. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Rations. We need those. It's a ration B3 unit. Oh, we can collect multiple rations, I see. The same.
What was that noise? This actually helped me, honestly. Alright, with that down, equip your stingers. Your stinger missiles and, uh. Okay. With that and the Beretta for right now, because I didn't. Alright. Head left and encounter. Well, encounter our boss with the Hind. Yep, the Hind D is a boss again. Behind, which oh, pretty jazzy soundtrack. Why is it the Genesis? Oh yeah, I forgot to I forgot to read about oil eggs. Well, I guess we'll do this now. <laughs> or pause. Yeah, this jazzy soundtrack. Formal name: Batu Batuliocosis or Cocos Ozumus Brownie, commonly referred to as oil eggs. By modifying the genes of a Boxylius brownie, the vegetarian plankton, one of a single cell algae specimen, can now produce a large amount of liquid carbohydrate. Carbon hydrate, equivalent to wild mineral oil. Furthermore, by upgrading their production cycle, it can be produced it can produce in a large scale at low cost. This is a biomass and greatly alternative to oil energy to oil. You extract okay. Uh, okay, saying so basically the uh, basically equivalent of algae to oil, basically produce about seventy percent gasoline and twenty five percent aviation fuel. And it contains a high level of octane value. Our production is one hectare uh, for eight quick, uh, one hectare. Uh, 85 kg of oil can be made in one day. Large scale production is possible. Production condition, production if basic conditions of warm, dry, and many hours in sunlight are met. It reduce even in areas with little water supplies. And the bar is dry, hot, and sunlight is abundant throughout the year, so it's well suited for people oil, oh, oil ex. Enter. Kio Marv of Czechoslovakia, oil is represented as, as a Fara Energy Conference in 1999 and meant to receive interest not only from advanced, but also from developing countries as well. In developing countries in Africa and elsewhere, energy shortening is getting more serious than the food problems. This is happening because wood cutting was, was regulated to protect the ozone. After its appearance, large oil companies from every nation are expected to show up for contracting, rectify, uh, contracting rectifying process in a subtle way of hope might shine in the upcoming energy crisis. Uh, origin of the term comes from oil and mix, may is also developed under the code name Oil X. So it's called Oil X or, and, trans, and transliterated as Oil X. Uh, energy crisis. In the background of the first oil lakes of two oil shocks, the world concentration on development of energies would kick up for oil, one of them being nuclear power. Then the late 90s arrived and also started to show all the push power plants based on solar wave and ocean power and high, uh, high speed nuclear and nuclear high speed reproductive energy and future plants. Oil is decreasing in the rise of the world had in oil as a source of energy, however, it still relied heavily on for transportation vehicles. And the, the, yeah, it's oil lakes, but yeah. Oh my god. I'm not even done! <laughs> oh my god. There's still more! There's about the land and a detailed account of the entire mission! Oh my god! Alright. So. Alright. Let's get that and get. Oh, frickin'. I don't know how to command it. Alright. Alright. Uh. I see. So we need to basically uh, link the. Oh, I see. Basically, link the uh, the dot in the. Alright, there we are. <laughs> My legs! Ow! Ow! Frickin' okay. Alright. Hide! Oh frickin', I just wasted a missile. And there's the last singer. 
There was behind. And kabunk. That was a cool shot. Anyways. Now you should be a quarter of the way through the game. Yeah. Alright. So go north and you'll come to the... To, uh, well... To a 30 sto story tower building. Oh crap. As it is here, there's, as you can see, there's many a foe. Got him. Alright. Head right. You've, you've built the cardboard box, right? Why don't you try closing this part of the cargo? I'm changing the frequency for our future communications. The new frequency can be found in a photo of the software manual. Over and out. So, his frequency has changed to now 406 6 Over and out. Got it. Got it. Slayed them all, and now we just get a proper box. You know, the iconic thing from the Metal Gear series. An ordinary proper box, according to the label, it's found for Zanzibar Land. It's used unknown. <laughs> Alright. And next to the conveyor belt, and... Down we go. Alright. I'm in. Also... Snake, I'm in trouble. They discovered my identity and now I'm a prisoner. Help me! Just wait, I finally managed to contact Dr. Marv. Where are you? Give me your location. I don't know. I was blindfolded. I think it's somewhere in the tower building. Oh, yeah. Snake, I hear noises. Off to the left, I hear an elevator. And to the right, I hear a noise like a pump. There's water flowing in front of it, behind me. Water. Water in front and back? And behind. A pump to... A pump to the right? And an elevator to the left. I think I've got a pretty good picture now. Snake, I don't think they know about my radio yet. But come quick, I'll be waiting. Okay, got it. Anyways, let's uh, crawl under here. And well, what the fuck do we get? Okay, we got a ration. Ooh, B2 rations. Yum. Yum. <laughs> I mean, tasty. <laughs> Got him. Alright. So we don't have a thing, so we need to head left. Got it. Hmm. Hmm, what's in here? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Uh. Hmm. Take the middle elevator. I don't any of them. Because they all lead to different areas. One of them being the fourth boss. <laughs> I see. I see how we get there. No? Really? Huh. Surprised. Oh. So it's good to know actually using the alerting them to their noise is actually a good thing sometimes. Right up yours. It lets me no get some know where I am. But it also distracts them and basically makes them like look around. Alright. First elevator we see, but heading here. Got it. Alright. And now we want to There's something we want in here. There is a B1 ration around here. Are you kidding me?
For here? No? Did I find the ration already? B2 ration. Oh, center of the spiral. I see the, I see the vent. I do want to get it because I do need rations. I mean, it's fairly easy to get around. There's a P3 ration. That's what I wanted. More rations, the better. Gives me more healing. Alright, I need to move. I need to move before they get to the spiral and I, and I, uh, well, you know. And I can't go up the elevator. What was the noise? Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Ah! Alright, and then we'll head to basement for one. Okay. Follow the path to two doors. A little, and, a, and a little kid. A little kid. Okay. Let's turn around. Okay, now there's a little kid here. Alright. Both these contain items we want, so there's some ammo. Ooh! With the health upgrade, we got ourselves some more. We get, we get more ammo equipped. Are you friends with the blob lady, mister? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well, no, we, well, we know she's close. And over here are plastic explosives. C4. A lightweight pipes forward multiple explosives to be detonated on screen, off screen, if within black radar range. Now, the question is, is it going to make it into it into a butterfly? Uh, MGS3 reference player, by the way. Over here, the little kid in the room by herself. Told his tongue for saw a man wearing green clothes. The blonde lady says he isn't here. Ah, oh, what the heck? Hmm. Big boss told, uh, said to tell a man wearing uh, tell us that that Holly is not here. All right, in this screen. Hmm. This sounds familiar. So, punch it and huh? That sounds different. Anyways, blow it up. Contact! Oh, what the frick? <laughs> Let's reload that. There. And we, he we see Holly! Thanks, Snake, you saved me. Hmm. What's wrong? I didn't think you'd be this pretty. <laughs> what? You thought you thought it'd be ugly? I should have met up with you sooner. Snake, about Dr. Marv, I'm pretty sure he's okay. Pretty sure? I thought you said you made contact. Well, I haven't actually met him. He's under armed guard somewhere. But he isn't uh, but he sent him carrier a Mr. McCarrier pigeon. I'm, it might be some kind of clue. A pigeon? Where is it now? I found it, but it flew away just so I was about to catch it. I saw the build the heading up to the elevator in the tower building. Toward the roof? The bad guys are looking for it too. We have to find it before they do. It's our only clue to Dr. Marv's whereabouts. A pigeon hunt. What are you gonna do? I don't like getting your way. I wanna gather a little bit more info. I'm starting to like this pl I'm gonna gather a little more info. I'm starting to like this place less and less. And then this happens. If this keeps up, I'm really gonna let them have it. I see you've still got spirit. Just don't do anything crazy. The enemy might be listening in. So let's change our frequency to seven to one four zero one four zero seven six. Okay, Snake. Oh, and I made a copy of my IC card. It's card four. Here, take it. I see you later, Snake. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Holly. Yay! Anyways, Holly. What? That's the kind of thing you would say to your boyfriend when you're when you kiss him goodbye. <laughs> then what, Snake? What should I say? Stay alive. You'll meet again sometime. Deal. Knowing Snake, uh, I don't think it ends well for them. I don't think Holly White, uh, it ends up good for Holly White later. Yeah. 
So I'm pretty sure they never meet again after this mission. Sad. Because Metal Gear, she's never mentioned again in any other Metal Gear game. Anyways, we rescued her. But yeah. So. Okay, so now we have our ID car 4. We have the elevator. We'll be back here later. Wow, my hand. Okay. So I'm gonna head to the tenth floor on uh, on the outside elevator. Just to reload, just in case I spawn with an enemy right next to me. You know, like right now. Make our patrols. They're making their patrol. I need to hide. Or I get looks like I get to fight with the fists. Alright. Alright, let's uh, use our new card four and hide. Speed up the button. One more unit, I should be able to move fast. Speed up isn't as fast, that's fine. Doesn't need to be. Oh, frickin'! Forgot about the thing. They're like, hey, what's that noise? <laughs> Uh, can I turn this room? No, that's not the elevator. Got it. Got it. Anyways, <laughs> head into this room. Falcon Ponge! Uh, don't go in here, don't go in here, don't go in here. I need to get in the elevator. Please, 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 please. oh god. <laughs> head upstairs. Doot. To floor 10. Let's get this up a bit. Alright, I guess not. Alright. Spin, spin, spin. Here it is. A kid, again. There used to be a, ver a veranda south here, but the passage is buried now. And the big boss adopted a lot of children, I'd say that. Hmm. Oh, they buried the walls. Indents the walls. Oh, here. Well, I have an explosive. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Alright, I see it. I see how to get across. I thought I'd bunch of thing looking green pineapples. That doesn't look good. Oh, that's maybe bombs. Far left side. Here. Got it. Boom. There is. So here I found a bunch of things with the green pineapples. Probably that room there. There is. Alright. Oh, here it is. There. There he is. Blew that up. And grab a pistol and talk to him. Why I man like our daddy? It's like our daddy. He has light grown ups. Well, that's on. Now he's open the, it's the red card. Our red card. Open this and get ourselves some rations, plus explosives and bullets. Alright, 
Alright, use your, uh, your card? I'm glad they're, they're lessening the card amounts, seriously. And get ourselves grenades. Those aren't pineapples, those are grenades. The USB fragmentation grenade. That needs upon contact with the ground. Drop set at a, a targeted point. Alright, I'm guessing we need to use these. Alright. But now we can fight the fourth boss of the game with these green, these green pineapples. I just think I'm seeing a pattern. I think I'm seeing a pattern with the bosses. Hmm, defeat a boss and get a new equipment. Get up, defeat a boss, get new equipment. Defeat a boss, get new equipment. Is this Mega Man or something? Oh god, I don't want to play. I, I really want to play Mega Man. I recently just downloaded a bunch of uh, translation patches for Mega Man uh, the one through f one through six. Is it a fix all the missing tra the uh, broken translations in the West? Which I actually will be playing on this channel eventually. Yep. I'm playing a bunch of translations, baby. Alright. I'll, I'll be probably linking the translations in the, in the things. I'll be doing the same thing with Mega Man Zero with, uh, with Mega Man is the question. Got him. Ugh. Get in. Get in. Alright. I got a hit on, which is good. I got a kill. Which is... There's one more. No less than the amount of people that to fight. But they are faster and stronger than them. Ha <laughs> ha. This is really hurting my voice. I'm just gonna say that. Got him. Got it. Okay, so there's still so we can be chased right now. They killed the guys ahead. We headed the central up here. I actually like when you f like fighting the squad members in Metal Gear games. It's fun. <laughs> even though they're not like the most fleshed out characters, they're still somewhat cool characters to see. And you want to punch the elevator door? Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Please, level down. Let me in. Alright, so equip yourselves with a, ra <laughs> with a ration, and equip yourselves with some grenades. And head to the 30th floor. Spin. Spin. Anyways, there we are. Now let's head out the elevator and boss time. Whoa. What is this? A booby trap? That's right. A trap clever enough to catch a fox, or should I say, a fox hound? This. What the frick are you? Who the heck are you? I am Red Blaster, and you are not going anywhere. My grenades will see us that your death is slow and painful. Red Bomber. Of the Zens of the mercenaries of Zens of our land. Red Blaster is an elite assassin who achieved a special ops degree in, Ru in Rumaba University of, U in the, of the USSR. He had a career in Spetsnaz afterwards. He carries detonating operations using explosives. He is a master at throwing grenades. Grenades. Also, the uh, attack helicopter <laughs> we destroyed already. These are uh, things. Anyways, I thought there'd be a tank on us when I first played this. I was like, oh, it's a tank. Nope. Oh, oh apparently the hind actually has a freaking bio. Oh my god. Okay, the hind. Zanzibar man's uh, land main attack only gunship gunner, a, a Russian armed assault helicopter, along with similar uh, Mer Mi families like Hip, Hayes, and Hound. Some of the strongest gunships are the hind series, including the M Mer Mi 24. This, also, also, this was also used in Outer Heaven. The hind is the most important helicopter in the Warsaw Treaty armies, in contrast to Spear and most Western land forces. Speaking of its origin, the hind is an upgraded hind A with reinforced arms and a four barrel electric Gatling gun equipped with a nose to take part in both anti surface and anti air attacks. The hind Zanzibar land uses are modified from the originals to increase ability and firepower. Upon application, 
The opinions, the options of the opinions of seasoned veterans were applied, and adjustments were made to many weapons uh, strategies and scientists. For example, even the most fatal manipulated attack is the rotor of the surface, where gunships have was taken care of and cannot be shot down with small firearms. It is, it is equipped with a 57mm uh, rocket pod, an A2 swatter, an anti-tank missile, and even an A2 spiral anti-tank missiles. Stinger and anti-air missiles and Saga uh, anti-tank missiles can be equipped. In one th and 132 rounds of rockets are supplied to highs at all times, each equipped to be anti-air and anti-service, depending on the circumstance. And then it goes into, into like, stuff like cargo and other stuff, so let's not read that. But yeah, I forgot to read the bio for the hind. The god, there's the... Freaking oh my god. Uh this inscription of everything. This manual is is extensive, holy frick. Alright. Slow and painful. Okay, how do you defeat by throwing grenades? Same as same as it's easier for you. Just don't walk out of the thing, you should be fine. Slow and painful. Not while he's still useful. Kids are cruel, cool, Jack. And I'm very in touch with my inner child. I need to play Metal Gear Rising one day. <laughs> It'll be done in the <laughs> ah! There is, he's dead. Yeah, he nothing. You get 25 grenades. What the frick are you talking about? Anyways, okay, okay. So, uh, okay. Can you call one of these? No. What? How do you break these? How do you break these? Can't walk. Oh no! Walk into enough times they crack. I see. Oh! That was close. That was close. And as you know, you need to head up the stairs to uh, to floor 31. And be careful. The floor does, uh, you know, one of the guards. So if you're ha you're alert, be careful. And we get a call from Holly. The door to the roof is painted shut to prevent trespassers. But it's jury rigged, so you can probably blow it up pretty easily with a classic explosives. See ya! Got it. <laughs> it's fun to do a, pl uh, a plastic stick ex uh, impression. <sighs> Doors open. Alright. So. And uh, it's a rooftop. You see that thing that's flying around? It's uh, at the top. So, you can see the pigeon up there. We need to call Joseph or uh, Jacobson. It's called Joseph in the in the in the other wording. It's all snake. Come in. That's a wood pigeon, specifically for angel acts a carrier pigeon. Do you know that there are over two thousand species, uh, two hundred species of pigeon in the world? They are forty centimeters long, and I found them from Europe all the way to South Asia. Doctor Mar probably brought that one with him. Pigeons are timid and very sensitive to noise. If you get too close, they'll sense you and try to fly away. Yet for all that. They're notorious gluttons. They feed mostly on grain. Got an idea? If you throw, if you have some beans or potatoes, you can use them as bait. I just got a large order of fries myself. <laughs> All right, tough to find a burger stand on the battlefield, eh? Over and out. Ha! Huh. A ration. Okay. So equip the B2 ration, and they'll no longer run away. And now you can just crawl. Crawl to the pigeon. Your B2 ration. Okay, there we are. Get it re-equipped it. Huh? There's a piece of paper tied to the pigeon's leg. Help. Wiz. Ohio. Ohio. Keomarv. 
only the H lowercase. Some kind of mess from Dr. Marv. What could it mean? Hmm. So. So it's apparently it's a, a hint to uh to the to the transceiver. Which is somehow I don't know how to trans how to translate. It's one forty fifty one. My guess is that the uh, it's supposed to be like I don't know. There's a salt snake coming. To teach him off, comment de lot, shim jon jonamir, mir de lam to for zvik okil. I'm not pronouncing this. Oh god, I'm butchering it. What's he saying? I can't understand a word. Better ask Magnar. Alright. Better ask Magnar. Anyways, uh... You'll speak to him in Czech. In Slavic. So I'm gonna call Petsvav. The salt snake. The salt snake, come in. Moff can only speak Czech and Slovakian. He's also the wary type, and especially so in his current predicament. What about you, Mandar? I can only speak Russian and English. Wait, I've got it! Gustava can speak to him! Gustava? Isn't that the STB woman who's protecting you? She'll be able to understand him, and Moff trusts her as well. Is this Gustava still alive? Not to worry, Gustava's no ordinary woman. She's a seasoned professional. When we are kid captured, she alone managed to steal an enemy uniform and escape. No doubt she's hiding somewhere outside Zanzibar Island, waiting for her chance. Does she have a radio? No, sneak and wait right after we right are captured. The only thing I know is that she's wearing an enemy uniform. There must be some kind of clue I can use. Here's her clue. She's a woman. Don't be fooled by her enemy disguise. There are no woman soldiers in this fortress. That's all you need to know. Gustavo's a woman. Why not set up an ambush someplace that only a woman? The only woman would go, like the lady's restroom. Over and out. <laughs> Alright. We can head at the Zanzibar building. Yeah, all the way back to the Zanzibar building. Freaking away. But I'm probably going to end this episode here. Well, heck, we'll head back to the Zanzibar building then out of the episode, actually. Uh... Ah! Sorry. It surprised me. I was wondering if those were, like, detonator traps, you know? Almost with the game, I actually just realized about half, we're almost halfway. Because what I saw, there was about like 15 to 16 parts. They were on chapter 10, on the, on the guide at least. It's taking forever. Alright. Let me purposely alert, make the alert just to, right now. It's a horrible idea. It's a horrible idea. Get out of B3 units, now we have a couple B3 units. Double rations. You know, something we eat. Oh. Cool. Alright, over this here, I guess. I don't think that's done part is safe anymore. Oh, I'm so sped up, I guess realize. There's one. I don't know why. It's, it's Snake's voice has turned like a Wario, and it's just kind of stuck with me. You know? Huh. There. <laughs> Made you look. Miss. I fired, and I missed. And I fired, and I missed again. <laughs> fired, and I missed. <gasps> what was that noise? Run, 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 run. Don't 
go, 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 go. <laughs> what was that noise? I wonder if we can open this now. Nah. No, we can't. Okay, got it. Keep subverting the bees. And if they beat you ration, mine. <laughs> rations. Gotta love rations. I actually really like this game a lot more for the stealth aspect. Ah, uh, I'll leave. Stop all the spiral room. Got it. I'm the wrong way. Yeah, okay, I got the ration, which is important. Cool. Okay. I guess the grain. Do you north wall? You mean here? No, you don't mean there. Okay, you mean south wall. <laughs> I keep putting him spit up. It's basically non noticeable. Compared to Retro Works, freaking hyper mode. And also, uh, I'm, I'm used to the speed up mode of, uh, what's a note? Uh, Game Boy Advance. Anyways, there we are. <laughs> Frick. Darn it. Got him. Anyways, head south. Now I'll, ha now I'll cut off. Next time, let's play Metal Gear. Metal Gear uh, 2 Solid Snake. We're going to head forward and meet Natasha Makarov. Or Markova. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.